Dancing with the Stars was the hardest thing and mm -hmm. the scariest thing I've ever done, yeah. and it's not even close. Shark Tank, celebrating 15 seasons, 15 years. I mean, did you ever think when you joined the show, season two, that it would be going on for this long? No, honestly, I thought, okay, this is a business show. Yeah. It's bouncing around from night to night. This will be the last season. Yeah. And here we are 14 years later. When you got the call to be on the show, uh -huh. was there ever any hesitation? No, no, because yeah. I'd seen the show. Sure, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, they suck. I can come on and do a much better <laughs> job. And so when they had me come on first as a guest shark, so it was yeah. Jeff Foxworthy mm -hmm. who came on for three episodes and myself okay. as well. I got there and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to tear them up. I'm just going to raise hell. <laughs> and then I've been there ever since. Barbara described everybody as a dysfunctional family. Exactly you, right. Is that, is that exactly yeah, right? Yeah, because I hate them all. No, it's, it's <laughs> like there's Kevin who's in his own little world, but we all get along great. We all get along. Yeah. Is it, do you spend a lot of time together off camera? We'll go out to dinner and mm -hmm. hang out some. And Damon and I will hang out all the time when he's in Dallas or I'm in New York. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, it's not like we avoid each other. Sure. <laughs> I mean, we actually like spending time together. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. When you're walking around the streets of New York or anywhere, do people come up and pitch you all oh, the yeah. time? Oh, yeah. All the time. I mean, people will chase me down. I mean, I've been in the urinal, you name it. I mean, it's a good problem to have, but yeah, you know, I get pitched everywhere. Anytime it's ever worked out? Um, actually, just off the street, no. <laughs> but I've gotten cold emails that have turned into really big businesses. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So like costplusdrugs.com, that was a cold email. Relativity Space, that just did a, a round at $4 billion. I still haven't met those guys. Okay. I was their first investor. They pitched me online. I'm like, this is great. Yeah. They're from Dallas. Let me get in. And it's just boomed. So you never and know. You just never, you never know. know. Yep. So that means you're always scrolling through your emails. Always, always, always yeah. looking. Yeah, like a thousand a day. And, yeah. and I like to do most of my stuff via email. But again, uh -huh. you know, that that's the power of the show. What is that advice that you always give people when they are getting ready to come onto Shark Tank? You know, be prepared. Mm -hmm. Because this is your baby, your business. You should know it better than yeah. anybody in the mm -hmm. world. And when you have one person grill you, maybe we'll miss something. But when there's five sharks and they're really, you know, smart and they're asking questions, we're not going to miss anything. No, you don't yeah. miss anything. No. Out of all, I mean, you've invested in so many companies yes. over the year, years. Which one has surprised you the most? Beatbox Beverages. Okay. So Beatbox Beverages is kind of a, a wine cooler and mm -hmm. now a spritzer as well. And they came on just a bunch of partying guys yes. out, and, and one girl <laughs> kept, like um, out of Austin. And I'm like, okay, it'll be fun. Yeah. And But I thought, okay, it has a chance to be big. And I gave them a million dollars for a third of the company. Mm -hmm. And now they're worth over $200 million. Wow. They'll do hopefully $100 million in sales this year. Mm -hmm. And they're just killing it. They're taking over the, the spritzer category. I mean, college kids everywhere just yeah. live on beatbox beverages so it's been amazing i love that what's the one that got away that you that still maybe keeps you up at night <laughs> it doesn't keep me up at night right. but, but um spike ball yeah yeah because you know you go you live by a beach right yeah. so you see spike ball there you all do. Yes. the time uh -huh. and i see my kids play it we have uh -huh. it in the garage and every time i see it in the garage it's like, <laughs> like oh no. my goodness because they wanted me to be the chairman uh, no the um the commissioner of a spike ball league yeah. mm -hmm. and i'm like I own an NBA team. Sure, the yeah. The last thing I want to do uh -huh. is be commissioner of a spike ball league, but they were right. I was wrong. Yeah. What's one of the products that you use on the daily? Um, well, there's one that's coming on this season mm -hmm. that is kind of a healthy sweets. Okay. And that's my like go-to sweet tooth, mm -hmm. right? I've got a sweet tooth, right? And so I eat these things called Alyssa's Healthy Cookies in the morning because they're healthy and they sure. taste great. Uh -huh. And then to get my sweet tooth like during the day or after a workout, there's a bar that comes on the show, season 15, mm -hmm. that's, and actually it's in the um, premiere episode, and it is just amazing, amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. And so when I tasted it, it was just like, okay, so that's become part of my daily routine. Yeah, definitely. Are your kids always like, bring this home for us? Yes, I mean, yeah, they're like, we want more, we want more, we want more. Like, you know, I invested in a company called Youthphoria, mm -hmm. um, and, which is makeup. You don't right. think I would do, but I have two, um, well now one daughter's 20 and the other's 17. Sure you know, prime customers, and they're like, bring more, bring yes. more, bring more. Where's the youth for you? What's the one piece of financial advice that you hope that your kids listen to? Oh, any of that. Any of it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get them to understand how to do budgets yeah. and to understand the concept of credit. You know, when I was growing up, you know, just 
not getting my credit cards ripped up was a mm -hmm. step in the right direction. Yeah. Um, but for my kids, they just think that, you know, the money comes out of thin air to pay those credit cards. Sure. And so trying to get them to understand a budget and that you have to have the money to pay off yes. all these things. Mm -hmm. that, that's been a challenge, but um, they're smart kids. They're figuring it yeah. out. Yeah. You know, what do you think of those um, business owners or people that are coming onto the show that maybe don't want the investment, but just want the, the commercial? Yes. I hate it. Yeah. Because, you know, 15 years in, they've watched all the episodes mm -hmm. and they've seen what's happened and they follow up with other companies that have been on the show. Yeah. And so they definitely try to game the system and it, it's really annoying. Um, and we, we yell at the producers, why can't you tell? Why can't yeah. you tell? Well, you know, and they're trying to find that balance between good TV sure. and good um, opportunities. But it, it's okay, you know, of all the problems you're gonna have, somebody coming on Shark Tank that's a good company yeah. just for a commercial, mm -hmm. okay, we can live with that. Yeah, can you sniff that out right away though? Yeah, Oh, yeah. You, but you know what, here's the other thing though, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't air. Like, yeah. so the process is they come in, we know nothing about it, we, you know, we hear the pitch, the pitch can go, you know, 15 minutes on television, but 45 to 90 minutes in real life, mm -hmm. in real time. And then if we make a deal, we get to do due diligence. Yeah. And there's a period between when they pitch us versus when the show starts and premieres. Mm -hmm. And so we have that due diligence period. And if we realize that they have no interest in closing, there's a really good chance they won't close. Yeah. I won't, won't air rather. Mm -hmm. So any of you watching now, <laughs> you won't air if you try to take advantage of the system. Yes. Are you more selective now that you've been doing this for so many years? Yeah. yeah. I mean, because you've learned, um, you know, over the hundreds of deals that I've done, you know, it's a normal distribution where like, 25% I'm like what was I thinking yeah you know and then 25% are oh my goodness this company's turned out either okay or really good and then 50% you know they're normal companies mm -hmm. just you know chugging along making a little bit of money and so you get a little bit of a little bit smarter yeah and at the beginning I did more deals just because it was good TV mm -hmm. then I realized how much babysitting was involved <laughs> right. like, and no. how much harder this that made life yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot more work for me so I do a few less though yeah any big regrets looking back no nah, not really yeah. I mean you know, there's always deals that, you know, you uh, might have, would have, could have, should have, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's just, it, when you're helping so many entrepreneurs and you're helping people build their lives or, and helping them grow their businesses, that's rewarding. Yeah. You know, I've seen people go from broke to like living a really, really nice yeah, life. Awesome. And, you know, having established not just for themselves and not just build a business, but for their families and their mm -hmm. kids and their relatives. And just being able to do that, that that's that's enough. Yeah, you know, it, things can sometimes get tense between the sharks yeah. on set. Do you guys stop that when the cameras stop? Or is no. There, no? Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's a really, really competitive deal, sure. it'll be, you know, it'll definitely carry over. But by the end of the day, you know, maybe by the next day. <laughs> by the next day? Or at least day? the next week. Right? Yes. Then it's, it's what's us. like your favorite behind the scenes moment that we probably haven't seen? You know, um, when they play Rapper's Delight. Yeah. So, like... A pitch will come in, and then there's a little bit of time to set up for the next pitch. Mm -hmm. They come in and do last looks, hair, makeup, all that stuff. And then sometimes the setup can take a while. Yeah. And so they're playing music the whole time. But mm -hmm. whenever Rapper's Delight comes on, for 15, 14 years now, it's been like, particularly if Damon's there, then yeah. we're saying hip hop, heavy did a heavy. You know, we're all doing the same thing. Yeah. And then there's, um, like, when Damon's on, he's got, he always has a theme song. Okay. When he walks in. I love that. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> So <laughs> it went from he's chocolate thunder. So yeah. literally he produced music that they play on set where he walks onto the set for a deal and he'll go, chocolate thunder. <laughs> and it went from chocolate thunder to chocolate thunder, extra crispy. <laughs> and it's just like so annoying, but it's fun. What is more difficult, Shark Tank or Dancing with the Stars? Dancing with the Stars. Yes. It's not even close. Yeah. Oh my God. Dancing with the Stars was the hardest thing and mm -hmm. the scariest thing I've ever done. Yeah. And it's not even close. It's not even close. No, I was on the episode when Marie Osmond fainted. Season five, so going yeah, yeah, way, way back, back right? Yep. And there were 22 million people that were watching wow. live. We were on Monday and Tuesday back to back mm -hmm. live episodes. You know, there's 20 some million people yeah. and I'm out there, you know, doing the, the whatever. And it was, oh, I used to practice like seven, eight hours a day really? so I wouldn't embarrass myself. Yeah. It, it was a blast, but it was scary. And then a crazy, Kim Johnson yes, was right. my partner yeah. and married Robert. Right, and I'm sure obviously you all are still very close. Oh yeah, of I course. I love that yeah, so much, that is so great. It's really cool. Well, I am so excited for this upcoming season. I know, season 15, appreciate it. It's going to be so good. It really is. Thank you for stopping by and Thanks for having time. me, Christine, this was great. That was so much fun.